for working and moving in our lives, Lord God. And we thank you for this service, Lord God. Yes, Lord God, that you bless the man of God, Lord God. From the crown of his head to the bottom of his feet, Lord God. That the words that he shall speak, Lord God, we shall hear them, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. We shall understand them, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. They shall not speak the words that we hear, Lord God. But they shall be changing words that change our lives, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you for every song that shall be sung, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God, that we join in, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, and not be spectators, Lord God. God, we thank you, Lord God, for today. We thank you for every staff member, every faculty, Lord God, that's working here today, Lord God, every nurse, Lord God. We ask that you keep them, Lord God, and we give you the honor, the glory, and the praise for Unity yes. University Rehabilitation and Nursing Center, Lord God, and we ask that you continue to bless each and every one of them, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we do pray. Let the whole house say amen. Amen.
Uh, I'm about to uh, ask y'all ask your forgiveness here uh, this morning. <laughs> took a little long with my hair this morning, y'all. So uh, <laughs> I'm running a little bit late this morning. All right, Saints, you know, John, yeah, yeah, we're supposed to start 1030. Yeah, we got on in here about 1040. And I uh, just couldn't get it right this morning, y'all. But, uh, but uh, that's all right. The Lord is still good. Amen. Yeah, right. And last time I checked, his mercy endures yeah, forever. Yeah, amen. amen. Uh -huh. Yeah, so you, we can talk about that. Grace is God giving you uh, what uh, you know what you don't deserve, but yeah. mercy is God not giving you what you do deserve. All amen. Right, right, uh -huh. amen. So we thank Him for His mercy. Amen. 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 Thank God for First Lady being with us this morning. More than she always is. Amen. 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 Praise God for her. Come on, let's give her a hand. Come on, thank God. My trustees is in the house this morning. Amen. <laughs> Y'all know I'm give a title quick, y'all. All right, and trusty Brandon Pitts is in the house this morning. I decided to sit in here. Good to see you, y'all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, he said, man, look, I know it's early. Where's church at this morning? You know, y'all be everywhere. Where's church this morning? You know. So I said, well, we're gonna be at uh, we're gonna be with the Saints at University Place this morning. We're serving communion this morning, y'all. Amen. Amen. All right. So uh, I said, well, you know, but it's open to the public. Don't don't get don't get it twisted now. Amen. You know, it's the Saints at University Place. I lift them up a little more than the saints at, at the church y'all do sometimes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Because I believe the saints at University Place have a testimony. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. That if it hadn't been for the Lord on our side, where would we be? Amen. Amen. Is that somebody's testimony this morning? Amen. 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 Well, I know uh, that, uh, you know, it's been, it feels like, you know, uh, I want you to know that your brothers and sisters at the church Charlotte. You know, we keep you in prayer, and we miss you when we miss you. Amen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we had this fifth Sunday and, you know, kind of thing. And that's like, man, it seems like it's been, you know, missing the saints. You know, we're ready to get right, back. Right. But, you know, uh, with, with fifth Sundays, you know, it, it kind of makes the weeks throw off a little bit. You know, whereas we used to be in here every other weekend. Uh, but, you know, it's like fifth Sunday, then first Sunday. I was talking to Elder Waddell and some you know, deacons at the church. And I'm like, well, brothers, this, you know, we... We, 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 we skip fifth Sunday, but we'll be right back because so that throw the next month off, you know, and, right. and then we'll be first and third and second and fourth, you know, so like, look, just keep it simple, amen, but we want you to know that we miss y'all, amen? Amen. Uh, amen. Yeah, amen, so we thank God for each and every one of you. Uh, we, uh, there is a word from the word this morning. Amen. Amen. It's good to see each and every one of you uh, that's here. Uh, let's grab James. We're going to jump into the book of James, New Testament. I'm going old school today. I got my paper Bible today, y'all. Right. I'm showing up saved today. All right. right. I got my paper Bible today. You can't, you know, now I, I was going to mess with y'all and bring the big coffee table Bible. <laughs> so y'all know, you know, that, that God is in control here. All right. I said, well, no, I, I have a little, I'm preaching from my father's Bible this morning. Mm -hmm. And, um, and uh, you know, so I said, well, you know, uh, what, what's plugged up and what's charged up and uh, we were running late I said no I'm not going back out to the car to get, get my, other, my other tablet and all that no we're going to read a word from the word you don't have to worry about the paper Bible changing on you alright all right. uh oh That's now see, now see I, I mess with even though this is what I do on a daily basis right. uh, I recognize sometimes I said wait a minute um, uh, you know this, this app done changed something you know it updated and looked like something a little different in here uh, but yeah, we don't have to worry about that paper Bible changing us. But James, the first chapter, a very familiar passage of Scripture. And I believe God wants to share something with us this morning. James, the first chapter, starting at the second verse, going through the fourth verse. And it reads, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation." Knowing this, that the trying of your faith works patience. But let patience have her perfect work that you may be perfect. Come on, somebody say perfect. perfect. And entire, wanting nothing. Amen. Somebody say amen for the word this morning. And yes, yeah, we can count it all joy today. Uh, because I can hear somebody saying, well, uh, Brother Preacher, uh, you know, I can surely say uh, that there have been diverse types of challenges come my way. Amen. Uh, but one thing that I notice from time to time, uh, Trustee Brandon, is that, um, you know, how we respond to those challenges 
makes all the difference. Amen. 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 Uh -huh. I, you know, I can I see uh, Brother George here in the house this morning, and uh, you know he he you know Sister Anna told me a couple weeks ago. You know she she came on the church. Brother George couldn't make it to church, but he he ran to a temptation, a trap, uh, a challenge that Sunday. But that didn't stop Brother George from coming back the next Sunday. Amen. 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 Uh huh. You know uh, what am I getting at? Is that uh, wherever we are, uh, there are challenges that come our way. But how we respond to them uh, uh, matters and determines where we go from that point on. Amen. amen. Uh -huh. Come on, somebody can uh, say amen with me right here. Amen. That that uh, this challenge that I might face on this day or another, the Bible says in James, this first chapter, second verse, I, I like how it brings the solution or how we are to act up first. Amen. It didn't say, um, you know, uh, uh, although you have so many challenges, although uh, uh, Mother Cunningham, even though this was a rough week, it didn't start that way. Uh, I like how uh, this book of James starts with the solution right. before it states the problem, all right? Yeah. Uh -huh. So I've got to get made up in my mind. You know, I have to watch sometimes. I, I give because, you know, I've you know, been around and, you know, music and musicians for, you know, my whole life. And, uh, you know, I always give these, a uh, lot of this stuff. I can't even call it gospel music anymore uh, because the gospel is the good news, okay? Uh -huh, but uh, a lot of this stuff I'm hearing uh, is spreading more bad news than it seems to be sharing good news. And I see these guys and, you know, we have different conferences and conventions and, you know, over time, and I say, uh, I know somebody is in your pocket for this, uh -oh. telling you what you should be uh, writing and singing, uh, but I'm encouraging you all to get back to the good news, amen? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you can't even call it inspirational, you know? Uh, you know, my goodness, uh, you know, uh, you spend three quarters of the song uh, talking about the problem. Uh oh all right, uh -huh. right. Now, the last thing, and it, this this goes for wherever you are. You can be in business. It can be ministry. Never, ne I, you will never find a solution if you spend all your time talking about what the problem, what yes, adversity. Yes. Doesn't mean you ignore it. But the bottom line is, is when you recognize the problem, you need to turn to a solution as quickly as possible. James is trying to let us know, brothers and sisters, you need to count it all joy. You know, you say, okay, what, what, what's happening here, James? Yeah, I'm letting you know uh, what the solution is first, uh, uh, brother. Uh, I'm letting you know the solution first, sister, uh, before you even get busy telling me what your problem is. Right, right. Uh, before you even spend too much time sharing the challenge that you might have faced, I'm giving you the solution. you got to count it all, Joe. Amen, amen, amen. Yeah, well, uh, that, that sounds nice. But you don't quite understand the challenge that I'm going through, brother preacher. Uh, you don't understand what I'm facing here. Uh, and, and uh, you know, I, I think that if I uh, share it with you, uh, it'll change your tune a little bit. Well, I'm here to uh, share something with you first, amen, that uh, if you would count it all joy. What does that mean? That means you are making reference to where you are. I heard uh, the saints even saying this morning, uh, uh, you ask them how they're doing, they say, I'm blessed and I'm here. Amen? Amen. Yeah, you know, uh, I can go other places and ask them how they're doing. There's this guy, uh, you know, I'm going to tell him, uh, you know, I'm telling him a little bit, you know, I, you know, I go into this Dollar General that's close to the house. And lately, uh, Sister Sabrina, I've had to question whether I need to go to that Dollar General or not. Uh, because uh, it, it takes too much time to get in and out of there, okay? <laughs> the reason why I go to that, a place like that is because it's smaller than like a Walmart or, or you know, a big grocery store or whatever. I want to get in and get out. And I said, well, my goodness, maybe I need to consider. Uh, maybe I just have to drive a little bit further. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because what I'm getting at is because uh, I accidentally, uh, one, sun, uh, one, one day when I was there, you know, you, you give a basic greeting. Uh, you know, uh, hey, how you doing? You know, uh, you know, how's it going? You know, right. and uh, I forgot, sis. Um, after the first time I did it, I should have learned my lesson. You know, <laughs> because I asked him, and he took me uh, at my request. Right. How you doing, uh, bro? 
out, you know, I'm, well, man, let me let you know I had it. a long day, and, uh, you know, I got about five, uh, 50, I uh, got about, about 20 mil more minutes before I get off, and, uh, you know, it's been a, been a rough day, and, uh, and all of these, you know, problem one and problem two, and, uh, you know, we got to about problem 12, and I said, oh, all right, man, I, uh, I have to see you later, but, uh, you know, can you, can you go ahead and ring me up? Because <laughs> he messed up, and I asked him before he rang me up, y'all. You know, right, 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 right. So I had to wait. I'm like, you know, okay, all right, come on, put your, put your, put your preacher, put your preacher hat on now. You might, you might need to, you know, uh, uh, hear what the brother has to say. If, if he's facing a challenge, you know, maybe share some good news with him or what have you. But I messed around and went back again and forgot to not use my regular salutation, and I got called up again, you know. But what I'm getting at is the first thing out of that young man's mind, mind you, this guy wasn't, he wasn't, you know, um, struggling, you know. <laughs> Looked like he was of good health. Amen. He was standing up and working at the cash register. Mm -hmm. So he didn't have to uh, hope that he could get out to bed that morning, you know. Um, he could respond to me and even had a job to go to. So uh, if by most accounts, you might have to say, okay, brother, uh, maybe it's not as bad as you think um, because you are still here for one and you are gainfully employed for two and, uh, you know, you got your health and strength uh, while you are here. Amen? Uh-huh. But the first thing out of his mouth was something negative. Something, you know, something, uh, you know, that was less than productive, you know, uh, because uh, when I think about it, uh, even if I'm having a challenge, I'll ask myself, uh, by sharing this, does this automatically cause me to have a problem and somebody else to have a problem? Come on here. Uh, you know, am I spreading uh, the good news or am I spreading uh, a temporary challenge that I'm facing? Lord, have mercy. Amen, amen. Uh, what, what am I getting at today is to understand that James is trying to let us know uh, that if you count it all joy, That's it. before you can even get to the problem, you need to start speaking up uh, of the goodness of the Lord. No. You know, uh, before I can even start thinking about uh, some obstacles that I might know are on the way. Right. You know, I'm not dismissive of reality, okay? Uh huh. You know, I'm not off in space somewhere, uh, removed from what's really going on. No, uh, but I made up in my mind, amen, that I'm going to count. It all joy. Why? Because I understand uh, what that's doing. I understand that if I count it all joy, uh, I'm doing something that the enemy can't stop. Amen. Uh, I am getting myself in a posture to be ready. Lord, have mercy. Ready for what? Whatever comes my way. Uh -huh. Ready for what? Whatever challenge that face that I face, but not that I'm basing my reality or my faith on problems. I'm facing my faith on the author and the finisher. Amen. Amen, amen. That's what this thing is all about. I watch uh, different, uh, you know, the theology of some. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, you will recognize how people operate in different areas. Even church itself is different in different areas. Right. You know, I, I go hang out uh, with some of my Unitarian, you know, Universalist brothers and sisters, and um, you know, they they don't they don't they don't they don't crank it up too much there. Uh, but the one thing I did notice is they understand God is in control. You know, right, right. very complex. You know, it's it's not all uptight. You know, you go to some of these real hot churches, and it's a real you know, uh, uptightness about it sometimes, you know. Uh, don't even know the, where, where in many instances the next step is going to be, you know. I go hang out with my Catholic brothers and sisters sometime and, and they have history on their side from a standpoint of understanding that we've been at this for a while. Right, right. I know uh, you and your little church that just opened up uh, last month, you might not know what's coming your way, but we've been at this for a while, so we don't let challenges uh, cause us to feel as if uh, there's no hope. Amen? Mm -hmm. They understand that God, if he's done it before, he can do it again. Amen? Mm -hmm. And their faith is based on uh, that, that understanding. That's why they'll build these soaring cathedrals 
to, to recognize that God, uh, the amount of time alone it took to build this would require faith. Right. And uh, if I can see it completed, uh, and someone a hundred years from now can see it completed, uh, they can understand that you, God, can make a way. Amen? They built those things out of stone, y'all. Stone lasts a while. Yeah, you don't have to worry about uh, all manner of uh, issues uh, tearing it down. Even if a fire were to come about. That's why I, I look at the uh, is it cathedral in France that burned down a couple years ago. Y'all remember them. But the thing was that was interesting is uh, the exterior, you really couldn't tell there was anything wrong with the place. Right. Uh, because the, the, the stone remained. Right, mm -hmm. right. I remember that. Even though all of the insides and different little things that they may have built with wood got damaged, the outside remained. God's trying to under, get us to understand today that if you count it all joy, you're building with stone, not with sticks. Amen? If you count it all joy, beloved, uh, you are building with something, first, not made with man's hands, and second, that can last from this point until uh, uh, all time will end. What am I talking about? Look at those that took that into consideration. Uh-huh. The pyramids of Egypt. We still find stuff over there. Right. Why? Because they built it out of stone. Amen. Right. Yeah, you know, you go uh, to Easter Island and the monuments that they made on that island, people can't even determine how long they've been there in some instances because they've been there so long. Right. Why? Because they were made with stone. Amen. This faith, this, this, this working on our faith, and, and, and here's where it's good to even recognize, not only and count it all joy, but realize what that's doing, that as you count it all joy, that scripture says it plainly. It says that when you fall into diverse temptations, first count it all joy, because there's going to be something that's going to happen. There's going to be something that is going to last beyond your sorrow. There's going to be something that can last beyond even that negative thought that you're having. Verse 3 says it this way. It says, knowing this. We always say, you know, uh, there was a cartoon I used to watch all the time called G.I. Joe. Mm -hmm. And at the end, they'd have a, a lesson learned. Right. And the kid would say, well, now I know. And then one of the guys from G.I. Joe would say, and knowing is half the battle. Amen? Uh-huh. Right. Uh-huh. James is trying to get us. G.I. James is here uh, this morning to let us know that verse 3 says, when you know this, that the trying of your faith works patience. Other translation will say works diligence, works consistency. Uh-huh. But it says, not only that, it says it, it works patience. And after you know this, this is why you cannot allow and why counting it all joy first is going to cause you to build something. Just like uh, that, that building made out of stone. You yourself, brothers and sisters, are building something with stone if you know and understand this very teaching that James is trying to get us to understand here. That if you count it all joy, when you face challenges, you are counting it all joy because you understand this. That the trying of your faith works patience. Amen. You're building patience. You're even building faith. Uh, Paul says it in Romans. It says, he says, Romans the first chapter, he says, understand something. That the just shall live by his faith. Amen. Uh, when you count it all joy, you're building uh, that house not made with man's hands. You're building your faith to understand that my trials don't speak for my attitude. Uh-huh, you know, and my attitude is going to determine my altitude in many instances. Because just like that brother I'm avoiding at the Dollar General, uh, I have to be honest with you, I don't see him going very far. Especially with that attitude, amen? Uh-huh, but there are those that are in a much worse situation. Me and First Lady always marvel at this, you know, we'll be places and watch people that will, what I call, serve the Lord with gladness. Right, mm -hmm. right. 
Maybe a job that seems in, you know, seems you know insignificant, you know, and you watch people that think that you know too highly of themselves, you know, walking by them, you know, not even speaking to them and things like that. And, you know, I see this young brother one time he working in the food court. And he was having to clean up the food court, and if you ever been to a mall food court, uh, you know anybody and everybody up in that mall food court. But he would move through that place with purpose. Yeah. He would clean up, he'd speak to you, and uh, and then there was another gentleman that was obviously on his team that was moving a whole lot slower. Mm -hmm. You could tell he didn't want to be there. Right. You know, and you could tell that uh, this wasn't going to be something uh, that was going to be uh, uh, his lot in life. Right. But the thing that I, 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 I watch and I enjoy uh, how God will put things together in different places. There was a, 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 a mother that was uh, working uh, in, in an office building I was working in. And, and she uh, would speak in I would, you know, I had taken Spanish for many years, so I would, I would speak in uh, you know, Spanish, and she would correct me when I would say something wrong. But I would see her all the time. Time passes. But the bottom line is, she was doing that with diligence. Mm -hmm. She did it with a cheerful spirit. And before I knew it, I was somewhere much long, many months later, and I ran into her again, and that fella that I remember seeing in that mall food court, they got their own business cleaning them same places that uh, this other guy that was wasting time, and God knows where he is now, but the point I'm getting at is I guarantee you he's not running his own business. I guarantee you that, that, that is that's so, so what I'm getting at is about people to be negative and mean. I'm talking about understanding who's counting in all joy and who's not. Amen. There are some results, y'all, to when you count in all joy, because when you know this, Scripture says it in verse 3 that the trying of your faith is going to work patience. It's going to cause you not to flip out when a challenge comes your way. It's going to cause you to recognize that challenge as an opportunity. Lord have mercy. Uh huh. As the people I work with now, they that they make a point to not state uh, or call a problem a problem. They call it an opportunity. Amen. And I say, you know what? I'm gonna have to use that because that's exactly what uh, James is trying to get us to understand. Those problems that you have, those issues that you're facing, you need to understand that is the very fuel for your faith. Amen. Uh huh. That's the very fuel to build that house. Uh, made out of stone, amen? Uh -huh. That's the very fuel, brothers and sisters, uh, that's going to take you from where you are to where God would have you to be. Well, where does God want me to be, amen? I'm glad you asked, amen? Uh -huh. He wants you to be patient. Uh -huh. But verse 4 says that you got to let patience have its perfect work that you might be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. That's the point of this whole thing, y'all. That's the point that, that in many instances the enemy is trying to get you to think the other way around is how you get to being perfect and entire wanting nothing. Amen. But I know everybody in here today can tell me, you know what? I might have been in a, a place in my life at one time or another where I felt like complaining was the solution. I might have been some at a point in my life one time or another where, you know, see, because this, this is how they do it these days. They call it keeping it 100, you know. Like, I'm going to keep it 100, you know. I'm keeping it real, brother preacher. I said, well, okay, when you, you let me know when keeping it real gets you out of that hole that you in. Amen. Uh-huh, because that's only part of the problem or the solution, you know. Uh, and I know many can say, yeah, you know, maybe I've been there. But now I made up in my mind and I realized that guess what? A uh, state in the obvious uh, never solved nothing. Amen? Right. You know, I, you know, I would uh, mess with First Lady sometime and say, uh, you know, uh, First Lady, uh, you know, uh, uh, your, your shoe is untied, you know? I said, well, gee, thanks. Uh, that didn't solve the problem at all. Right. You know, solve the problem with C and say, hey, Hun, your shoe is untied. Let me tie it for you. Or hold on, stop what you're doing if you're going to tie it yourself. But stating the obvious didn't solve the problem. 
I know somebody in here today can say that I've been them, uh, but I've made up in my mind and I've realized today that counting it all problems. <laughs> uh, wait a minute, that, that's not what the, what the scripture says here. Let me make sure, yeah, this is a you know, Holy Bible, King James Version. Let me say, okay, yeah, yeah. Verse 2, uh, say, that's not what that said. And I think you've realized that counting up your problems never saw one. Amen. Right. Uh -huh, but I'm making up in my mind today. Yes. Amen. You, your, you, brothers and sisters, I believe you made up in your mind today that I'm not going to count up my problems. I'm going to count it all joy. Amen. Uh, uh, joy in what? The understanding that the trying of my faith works patience. The enemies, Amen. the thing that I, I recognize is that the enemies solutions. The enemy's plan never changes. Yes. Time changes, people change, but the enemy's plan has, hasn't changed to this point. What's his plan been? His plan has been to steal, kill, and destroy. Amen? He does the work of a thief. Amen? Uh-huh. Uh, but, but here's what that scripture goes on to say. But the gift of God yes. is eternal life. That's being whole, lacking nothing. And in many instances, we've looked at that as something afar off, you know. Uh, well, Brother Preacher, when my time comes, you know, I'm going to have eternal life. Amen. Amen. Thank God for that. That's a part of it. But you got some living to do right now. Amen. You got some work to do, says the Lord, right now. If the enemy can keep picking at your faith, if he can keep keeping you focused on your challenges. He's keeping you from the very work that he's got for you to do, says the Lord. I've got work for you to do, my brother. I've got work for you to do, my sister. And if you would count it all joy, Amen. you're going to develop something that causes skyscrapers to come out the ground. Amen. You're going to develop something that causes any plan. Even if it's got some holes in it, it can still come to pass if you would count it all joy because it's going to develop a patience that's going to have its perfect work and cause you to be whole, lacking nothing. Amen. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure uh, no builder ever can say, well, you know, we built the Empire State Building and there was never any problem. Right. You know, we built, you know, uh, in the Burj Al Arab in, in Dubai, tallest building. Oh, uh, no, the Burj Khalifa, I think, is the tallest one. I'm pretty sure if you talk to them, they won't say, yeah, everything went well and wonderful, and we never ran into any problems. Yeah. No, they're going to get you to understand that you need to go into this expecting a challenge. Yeah. Right. But here's what you got to do you got to be allowing yourself to let patience have its perfect work. Because when the trying of your faith comes about, that faith is going to cause you to live. Amen. James, the first chapter, if you look over in Romans, the first chapter, even Habakkuk. Habakkuk is having to write in the second chapter of Habakkuk, where he's looking at those that have conquered his, his, his nation. The Chaldeans had conquered that area. And Habakkuk begins to write. Back to the second chapter, we we'll know it and, and be, are really familiar with it because it's the write the vision passage, you know? Write the vision. Make it plain upon tablets so those that see it can run with it. Amen? Yeah, yeah. That's what we know it from. But if you read on in that second chapter of Habakkuk, he goes on to state that even those that have plundered a city, they're going to turn around and be plundered by those that remain. Amen. That's why, you know, I got to I tell some of these preachers even, you better watch out what you're doing when it comes to ministry. If what you're doing is not helping where you are, you're a plunderer. Amen. Uh-huh. And you want to face the, uh, the results of the remnant. Amen. Uh-huh. Yeah, there was some stuff that happened in the news a couple weeks ago. I really couldn't feel bad for the guy. You know, you don't want to see anybody get hurt. But the bottom line is, when you're more focused on yourself than you are that ministry and its people, mm -hmm. uh, you got, you going to set yourself up for something that you can't get out of. Lord yeah, Jesus. Yeah, God's yeah. trying to let us know that this faith, you're going to live by it if you allow it to be built up. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. I believe somebody today wants to say, you know what? Yeah, I, I've let some stuff back me up a little bit. 
I've let some reports, I've let some, some things have happened, you know, uh, you know, some stuff is not coming together like I expected to. It's got me backed in the corner. And when I get back to the corner, you know, uh, I can start blaming people, you know, or I can start, you know, blaming everyone else for my problems, or I can, no, I'm going to let, I'm going to count it all joy. Mm -hmm. Because as I'm counting it all joy, I'm building the very thing that's going to cause me to live. Mm -hmm. My faith is getting built. Uh, and not only my faith is getting built, I'm, I'm getting a patience that's causing me to be whole, lacking nothing. Mm -hmm. Look at a seasoned believer. Things don't, you know, and even as yourself. I'm going to testify on your behalf. Some things that used to bother us. We talk about it now, it doesn't even bother you anymore. Because you understand, you've let patience have its perfect work. You say, you know what, yeah, I know. You know, I got some challenges. I've gotten a report. But I believe God. Why? Because he's done it for me in the past. He's worked things out for me. He's caused all things to come together. And now, instead of Glory in a challenge. I'm going to praise him in advance. That's what faith is, y'all. Uh, faith is the substance of things hoped for. It's not here yet. But you operate as it is. That's that skyscraper mentality. They draw, they draw drawings. They go into meetings talking about what isn't yet as if it already is. Yeah. They don't allow uh, the economy and the uh, you know, and all manner of weather conditions to cause them to get in a posture of saying, well, you know, I'm the builder of this building that might come to pass. <laughs> no, I'm the developer and I'm the chief architect of the Berkwood. Berkwood is going to be wonderful and it's awesome and it's going to have all of these things going on. All you got to do is wait. Amen. God, let us know today. You have that ability right now. As you let patience have its work perfect work, you need to count it all joy. You need to talk like that developer, you know? Uh huh. Yeah, you know what? Well, yeah, I haven't got it all together, you know, but this master's that I've been working on for the last six years is coming to pass and it's coming to pass. All you gotta do is wait. And when I get that, uh, you know, I'm gonna have a couple extra letters behind my name and it's gonna allow me to do certain things. And uh, but guess what? I'm starting to do those things before I even get it. Why? Because I understand. That me sitting back and waiting for someone else's approval is not what God would have me to do. Amen. Those that you know, I watch those that go into certain areas when they're called in those areas. They don't need others' approval. There are even uh, departments and divisions that have to catch up to where they are. Right. They will found a whole new uh, area of study because they have a passion for it. God's telling you the very passion that you have right now. You need to count it all joy. That's what your, your focus has got to be. God says, beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. The enemy can pull your faith man down. If he can pull at, pick at your faith, if he can get your spirit negative, he can cause you to be ineffective. As we're closing today, we're serving communion. And what a perfect time to serve communion. Amen. Because in many instances, when an agreement is made, you know, in past times, you would seal it with a meal, you know? <laughs> so what are we doing today? We're believing today. We're sealing it today. That whatever challenges that have come our way, we're being grateful to understand, you know what? That was God letting me know, all right, I'm on the right track with this thing. Amen. You know, all right, yeah, you know, no, don't let somebody talk you off the wall, says Nehemiah. No, I'm doing great work and I can't come down. You are doing great work. And you can't come down. You got to keep moving forward. As we're closing, Father, we pray right now for any of the challenges that we're facing. We change gears immediately and thank you in advance. We thank you not only in advance, but we thank you for what you've already done, Father. You've done it in the past. Uh, just like your word, it's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. We're thanking you in advance, Father. We're counting it all joy uh, because uh, this time last year, uh, many didn't think that uh, we would be here. Uh, this time last year, uh, uh, even me, myself, maybe I didn't think that things would be the way they are right now. But we're thanking you right now, Father, that you worked it out because, and, and that we know and understand that you got a plan because we're still here. 
We're thanking you right now. And we're counting it all joy. We're knowing right now that the trying that we face is causing us to work, it's, it's causing us to build our patience. And it's causing our faith to be built. It's causing us not to run at the very sight of, of uh, any type of uh, contempt. Uh, it's causing us to not run or drop all that we're doing at the very possibility that it might not work out as quickly as we thought it would. Amen. God, we're thanking you right now. We're praising you for all that you've done, for each for every testimony that's in this room. God, I get straight seeing the testimonies even in this room, God. God, so we are thanking you right now. And we're allowing the house to be built with stone. No longer are we going to face and, and focus totally on the negative or the challenge that we're facing. We're facing and putting our focus on you. Because we understand that the just are going to live by his faith. So we're living and we're standing on that very thing right now. We're thanking you for it. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Let everybody say amen and it's done. Amen it's done. Amen. Amen. For those that are joining us remotely, we'll see you in person in service next week. We're serving communion right now. Uh, and you're missing it. All right. I'll say I'm messing with those that are on remote with us. I'm, not, I'm playing with those that are not in the general area. We'll have to send communion like we normally have done in the past. But if you're in the area, you're missing communion today. Oh, you should have come on. You should have come on. But we thank God for each and every one of you. If somebody that doesn't know Christ today, we want to pray this prayer. You can pray with us. Father, I know I'm a sinner saved me right now. I'm confessing with my mouth. I'm believing in my heart that you died for my sins. Save me right now. I know according to your word that you declared if we would call on your name Amen. that we shall be saved. Amen. God, we believe right now that you were crucified, yeah. buried and resurrected with all power in your hands. With that power, Father, God, you are causing us to be able to count it all joy today. Amen. And I believe right now that I'm saved. If you prayed that prayer, say amen. And now you are part of the household of faith. Amen. For those that are believers today, for those that have been experiencing challenges, for those that as the week goes on, uh, you know, you know, you have to say, well, you know, I felt high on a Sunday, but Tuesday came, y'all. Uh, I felt good uh, on Sunday afternoon, but look, here come Monday, and something unexpected came my way. We're praying each with each and uh, each and one another today. Why? Because we understand the power of agreement. Uh-huh. Yeah. We talked about this, I believe, last week. Scripture says, not only were there two or three together, gathered together is he in the midst. That's not the point of that scripture. The point of that scripture, if you read on, it says clearly that if those that have come together would pray according to his will. And be in agreement, it shall be done. Amen. Amen. We're praying amongst believers today. There's way more than two or three of us here. So we're praying in agreement today that whatever you're standing in the need of, God's going to provide it. Somebody say amen, right? Amen. 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 I need you to agree with me first lady today. Amen. amen. Whatever uh, no, we're standing in the need of, God's going to provide it. Somebody say amen. 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 I'm touching the agreement with you today. Whatever you're standing in the need of, we believe it and it's done. Now may the grace of God, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest rule and abide henceforth down forevermore. We let those that are leaving us and not being with us for communion, uh, you are dismissed. But now we're getting ready to go in uh, to communion. We won't say amen until we finish communion, all right? Amen. Uh, for those that are not with us, uh, that will not be with us for communion, we, we pray the Lord's blessings on you. We'll see you this week. Monday prayer, Wednesday Bible study. God bless you. Have a blessed week. God bless you, man. Good to see you.